Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. So, it's been a few years since we killed the Canary Arashok and drove them from the city. Our dog's not around, but there's some barking upstairs. wonder what's going on. I'm sure the furniture's very sorry for whatever it did, old boy. All right. Let's see. Please don't open the door. You've caught a burglar. Good boy. My legs are cramping. Please, just let me go. You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, sir. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age. But your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. I'll give you to the count of five before I sick my Mabari on you. What? Surely you wouldn't. One. B but. Two. <laughs> three, four, five. Make sure our guest leaves quickly. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> huh? Hmm. We already read that in an earlier chapter. Alright, so we had a... Oh, hold on. Enchantment. We got things that we need to enchantment. Namely, the champion's gauntlets that we got. Mm. The shield of the knight herself. Guard captain's plate. Vestments of the first. And the grafted spirit hide. Now, everybody's making us monies. You like the shiny? Oh yeah, I like the shiny. <laughs> Good dog. Now we had a letter. Uh, yeah. A letter in a fancy envelope. The inserts rates are low. Oh, pfft. Ella. Ah, it's the girl that, well, Anders almost splattered after he killed Sir Ulrich. On the loose. Apparently, Knight Commander Complete Bitch needs our assistance. I could... Robes. What? Those are magic. I can't wear magics. <sighs> Anyway, Isabella is shaded out right now. But, she's been sighted drinking at the hangman. So, let's head to the hanged man. We also need to speak to Varric eventually as well. Yeah, she's up to an entire bottle. Now. Oh, that looks like the house special. Whiskey flavored with rat droppings. You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat flavored whiskey. Right. Remember what you said after the mess with the Canari. <clears throat> I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. And I'm just a lying, thieving snake. You're just afraid of being anything else. 
I don't know how to be anything else. I bet there's a heart of gold in you. We just have to dig it out and sell it. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. Yay! Does this mean we can get Is Isabella back? <clears throat> cool. Now I have been running around town while the last video was processing, basically just picking up random crates and whatnot, and I found an amulet for her. And I haven't done any side quests, but I did find an amulet in the disused passage at well surprise. Uh I see. Sometimes people get things for other people they like. This is the part where you say thank you. I know that you goose. Don't you know what this is? It's a Ravani fertility talisman. These petal-like shapes represent... certain fleshy bits. And this protrusion is... well, just look. You're an expert on Ravani talismans, are you? My mother was a Ravani seer. Or, rather, she pretended to be. She knew enough about the old tribal practices to put on a convincing act. She used to hand these things out to women all the time. I knew it was a little crude. I just thought you'd appreciate it. You like vulgar things. Well, yes. Books with bawdy poetry and pictures to illustrate, but this is something else. Ravani women would wear these so that their wombs would be fruitful and their marriages blessed with many children or when they wished for love. Who needs love? I was just hoping for plain old lust. <laughs> lust. Lust I can manage. Huh. So it was a fertility talisman. Hey, Verk, what's up? If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh. No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Mark, what can I do for you? I wouldn't say no to a pint. I should make you buy the drinks, oh champion of Kirkwall. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Barrick? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. <sighs> I need a new helmet. Alright, so what else do we got on the... Uh, Meryl, Anders, and Aveline. And Gamlin. Also, I've been finding these canary blades. I also dropped by all the shops. Didn't, how you live the way you do. didn't really find any. Didn't really find anything worth buying, but you can buy canary swords from miscellaneous and uh, various shops throughout Kirkwall. And there's a couple you can. There are some you can find on random, like uh, at the docks at night near the disused passage behind a pillar there's a skeleton with a canary sword on it uh... there's actually there's a canary near the entrance to our estate i pointed him out near the end near the end of the last video there is justice in the world is there? you want to free the mages let's say you do but to get there you kill a bunch of innocent people what about them? don't they then deserve justice? yes and then what? Where does it end? It's like a bar brawl. 
People are continuously pulled into the fray, and nobody remembers why it started. Justice is an idea. It makes sense in a world of ideas, but not in our world. Interesting. But yeah, uh, there's a canary we can tur turn these canary swords into for stuff. Oh, a crumpled note. Uh. Leave that alone. There are things in my life that don't actually involve you, you know. Stay out of my business, boy. Uh, okay. Um. That note mentioned the gem of Kereshek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. This gem sounds pretty impressive. It has a name and everything. Ah, don't be stupid. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. I would have put our wealth into something profitable, like Orlesian wigs or nugskin coats. Our? Get this, you self-righteous ass. You got no claim on that coin. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Ooh. So you've done well for yourself. <laughs> I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You made a pretty good son anyway. Your mother would be proud. Uncle Gammon, was that affection? I'm feeling sentimental. With Bethany locked in the gallows, you're the only real family I have left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you pulled it out of the grave. Uh, well, that was ba that was about bass backwards. <laughs> he got mad at me, and then he, yeah, okay. So apparently, I never got that quest, the gem of Caro Shock or whatever the hell. But apparently. I guess we're going to have a chance to get a little backstory on how Gamlin pissed away the family fortune. And something about someone named Mara. Hmm. Anyhow. Uh, Meryl. Oh, Meryl. Oh, yeah, Meryl. Oh, hold on. You... You need to... Oh, damn. You get two level ups. Yeah, you did get two level ups. Crap. Uh... Uh, just, there we go. Jeldon. It's beautiful, isn't it? This tree is one of the only... Yeah, yeah, amazing. If you don't have a quest to give me, shut up. Come on, Daisy. You've been holed up in here for days. If you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air and Use I'll some... stop bothering you. Use some blood magic on people. I know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. With the blood magic. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. Beric is... very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? I'm sure something is wrong somewhere in Kirkwall. But right now it can wait. And I'm being a poor host, as usual. In the market the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the Keeper. You miss Keeper Marathari? Are you feverish? Did you take a blow to the head? I must have. I even miss her scolding me. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. 
Well, we'll go out in a plot sense. Wait, wait, wait. wait oh. What is it with the death of a Templar? No one cares about the Templar. STFU about Templar. Anyway, let's go talk to Anders about Templar. Or the death of a Templar. Or something. Kitten Marsh. <laughs> Kick. Oh, hey, there's a crate in your house. With a canary sword in it. Okay. That's you think I don't know the city guard is just another arm of the Templars? That is completely unfair. If they show up here, I'll know who to blame. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see that. I just can't be too careful. Now that the Knight Commander has basically appointed herself Viscount. Between ruling the city and torturing mages, it's a wonder she has time to keep that sword so shiny. She has nearly crushed the flame of hope for mages here. The mage underground is all but destroyed, and those left have turned to blood magic as their only option. Which Meredith knows will prevent any chance of the public taking their side. If I have any influence here at all, Meredith will not be Knight Commander Long. I don't know what we would do without you. How can people be so blind? A mage saved all of us from the blight. But it makes no difference. The Chantry set us on this path long ago. It would take something truly catastrophic to change people's thinking now. Yeah, it would. And he wasn't just a mage, he was an arcane warrior and an elf. So let's not forget that. Arcane warrior elf. Oh, hey, there's a thing over here. It says, click me. Are you the ones who sent the note about the gem of Karashek? We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. Ah, uh, mutton beards. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know. It's not like I don't got things to do. To inconvenience an upstanding citizen such as yourself. My, where are my manners? Don't talk down to me. I ain't stupid. You see, we was dumb. hired to give you a note. But this gem of Kirashek thing the note talks about. We decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. <laughs> I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. The wallop mallet? Isn't there a mallet hanging on the wall in Gamlin's house? What am I... Okay, I'm... What? Huh? You know, normally, I probably should stop right about now, but I'm intrigued. A mallet? Load faster! Ball! New quest, justice. <sighs> Anders! Uh, we just left your place. Couldn't you have decided that you wanted to, you know... Oh, whoops. Got it. Don't use mouse to change. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say. You couldn't, you know, have said something before we left your little infirmary or whatever. 
clinic. Oi. What do you want now? What in the maker's name is a wallop mallet? <laughs> Haven't played wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something. So, I hear you've been slipping it to that pirate slut from the hanged man. The bitch turned me down flat. She's standing right there, you know. Uh... Wait, what? Examine the tree in the alienage? Does this have anything to do with the ever-burning flask that I can't take? No, oh, blarg honk. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Examine the tree of the people. Isn't that sacred tree thing we wanted here in the alienage? Most of these generations, uh, those have been a whole truth. Oh. Well, we found the tree the wallop mallet's made from. Now what? Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. This person is like an underpaid brothel wench. He enjoys leading us on. I was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. A warehouse? I don't like being led around. Unless leashes are involved. And they're not. So now what we... Okay, so we're supposed to go to the docks. Alright, when we pick up, when we come back, we'll be at the docks at night and we'll... Follow this quest up. This is actually interesting. And I want those ever-burning flasks. I want to throw them at Meredith's face. Anyway.